everyone, today um, I'll be talking about skills, skills slots, and skills in general. Um, I thought I might as well explain it in my version because why not, you know? <laughs> This might help someone, and if I can do that, then I feel then my job is done. If I can help five people, that's fine. Um, there is a vape. This, uh, oh, sorry, dial. Um, this skills are only in JP for now. They've been introduced since 4.0. Um, um, it'll be in EN eventually, but it's always nice to have a heads up of what to do so you don't accidentally sell or put the wrong skill on the wrong card. Um, when it comes to EN. So, in 4.0, they've, they've added another tab, and it's, it's the green one here. Click on that, and you will browse all of your skills, all of your skills in a certain collection. So, I'll go through all of them. I don't have every single skill. Um, I have been playing for a while, but I don't have every single skill. But I will try to get screenshots of what they look like, because it's hard to tell from this page because it looks really small and the tell differences between each skill there are minor differences in design but I will put a I will find screenshots of what they really look like and the details so you can have a good look as well while I'm talking now there are lots of skills they are a game changer in 4.0 um, they make they can make a team even without a UR really strong um, and they can make Unidolized URs or SRs really strong too. That you don't like, you don't have to be. It's pretty much you don't have to be a whale to have good teams. You can have these skills and they will help you. And of course, eventually, when you get your dream team, dream card, you can you can put your the better skills on them. So I'll go to the basic ones, and uh, they are. Called Smile Kiss, Pure Kiss, and Cool Kiss. Cool Kiss, yes. I'll show an example of one of them, even though I do have all three. The principle is still the same, so we'll go cool for the moment. And this one is very basic. It just says increases the card's smile stat by 200, and you only need one slot to put it on. So from rares to URs, every every single card can have this. No exemptions unless you only have two and you use the two slot um, skill. That's that's the point. That's not the point. So this one, it's pretty much it's a it's a nice boost. It's nice. Thank you very much. Love live. Off we go. Um, next one is called perp yeah. smile perfume, pure perfume, cool perfume. And this requires two slots, and I'll try and find one. Mm. Alright, I got my pure... Okay, here it is. Pure Perfume. Increases... Requires two slots. And increases the card's pure stat by 450 in this case. Smile, cool, you know the point there. Increases smile, increases cool. Um, so it needs two slots, so you'll need some... Um, an idolized rare or above to put this skill on. Um, it's it's nice. I can't say it's, it's a game changer, but hey, you got it. Put it on. Don't waste it. Don't sell it. Like I accidentally did once. I accidentally I accidentally sold my skills because I'm a scrub. <laughs> Next one we have is called Smile Ring, Pure Ring, Cool Ring, followed by either first years, second years, or third years. These ones are a bit fancy, as like you need the, uh, the year level as well as the slots needed. So you can have this skill here have two available slots, but if that example, if Rin is not a third year, you can't put this on her. So you'll need either Eli, Nozomi, Nika, Kanan, Daya, or Marie. And they have to be a smile for you to be able to put this on. Now this card simply just increases the card's smile stat by 10%. Um, that's all to it and um, you can't get any more simpler than that. As long as, as, long as, as, long as you meet the requirement of the skill, either from, if it's a first year, second year or third year, then you're fine. Um, you can equip this to whatever card you think is the strongest. Um, 
you can uh, put on your idolized URs or whatever. As long as you have the skills, the space for it, do whatever you like. Put it on. Um, next we have the cross. So I will find it before I open my mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, I got it. This one is called Smart Cross, Pure Cross, or Cool Cross, depending what which one you have. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't have all the skills, because not all the time you fill up the reward box, you get a skill. So this one is simply is better than Smile Ring, and increases the card's Smile stat by 16%. And this one is only for first years. So Rin, Maki, Hanayo, Yoshiko, Ruby, and Hanamaru are the only ladies available for the Smile Cross first year. There are second years, Smile Cross, Pure Cross, and Cool Cross, and for third years too, so no one misses out. Um, but it is, it is annoying that it has to be a first year or a second year, it has to be pure, gets a bit niche and this is, um, if like I said, the more cards you have, the easier it is for you. You put, use these skills and put on that card. And um, there's that. And next one is the auras. Um, like I said, the images don't change a lot, so it can get confusing. Um, all right, smile aura. This is where we go from two slots to three slots, and it just. Increases the team's smile stat by 1.8. So in this case, I only have one. It's only on my Rico. Um, if she's in the team, in my Smile Aquas team, everyone in that team's smile stat will go up by 1.8%, which is really, really a nice touch. Too bad I only have one of them. I would love to use it on my um, Muse teams, but I think they're strong enough. So I put my good ones on my Aquas because I don't have... Um, very many cards of them yet. So this is available for every single member um, Smile Veil, I'm oh, not sorry, Smile Aura, Pure Aura, Cool Aura, available for everyone um, As long as you have three slots, so I think you have to have an idolized SR or above for this to work um, That's if you idolize the SR the old-fashioned way if you do buy um, seals you have to idolize them twice. So, depends if you want to idolize a card by seals for pure looks, or you want to idolize them the old fashioned way for slots um, for your skills. Next one is. I have to find it first before I say anything. Um. Um, unfortunately, I don't have this one, the next one I'm talking about, which is kind of odd. Um, oh wait, no, I do, I do, I take it back. I have just one. This one is called The Veil. So, Smile Veil, Pure Veil, and Cool Veil. In this instance, I only have one veil, and it's pure. Requires four, four slots, so you'll need an SSR or above um, for this to put on, or... Like I said, an SR that you've idolized a couple of times with seals can get... The max slot is four, but when you get an SR from the box, it's two. So you have to idolize them a couple of times for this for you to put this on them. But the Pure Veil is four slots and increases the team's pure stat by 2.4%. So in this instance, Magician Contori is the only one that has it. And with her and my Pure team, everyone's pure stat will go up by 2.4%. Um, like I said, I've only got one, um, because getting s skills that have slots of three and more is kind of a bit more rare to get, so, um, especially since every time you fill up a reward box, it can vary which rarity you'll get, from just the basic pink one to the purple one full of ribbons and glitz and glamour, and, um, yeah, I I'm tr it's hard to find any images of the reward box on anywhere on the internet. But I will try my best to get them myself um, every time I fill it up. The next one are the only ones that really vary in um, images. You can tell these are the good ones because they look very much different. Um, in this case, I will uh, just change the color. Um, we'll use black, okay. 
This one, I unfortunately don't have anyone that can really use this skill. Um, called Princess Trick, right here. This one requires four slots and increases the card's smile stat by 25% when a perfect lock is activated. Can only be equipped on smile cards. I don't have currently a smile card that has more than four slots that isn't a UR because unfortunately my three small URs are heal two of them are healers and one's a scorer so I don't have a perfect lock. Not even an EN, I don't have a perfect lock card. Oh wait, this Ellie. Sorry, I'll take that back. But in this case of my Japanese account, I don't have a card that has four slots and it's a perfect lock. Um, these perfect locks aren't that great score wise in JP 4.0. The best ones are healers, I'll explain later. But like I said, increases the small stat by 25% when a perfect lock is activated. So, um,. If you have a perfect lock and you have four, and it's a smile or pure or whatever, um, then you can activate it. You can put it on. Actually, I think this one is. No, that's a healer. My bad. I don't do anything. So that's that is called Princess Trick um, or Angel Trick or Empress Trick. So the names change. Princess Trick means for smile. Anything with the princess first a smile. Angel refers to pures and Empress refers to cool. Um, the next one is I will show here it is. This one is called Princess Charm and they refer to smile cards. And this one requires four slots and increases the card score up skill power by 250%. Can only be equipped on small cards and will only have a use on score up cards. So do not put them on healers, you're wasting your time. Um, this for pures, this is called the angel charm, and for cool cards, this skill is called Empress Charm. Um, I'm fortunate to have two, but I put it on SSR Chica for now. I will take it off because. I think she's not a. I don't think she's. Um, yeah, she's not. A, she's not a scorer. So I will take that off her. Um, eventually, I will take it off and put something more reliable on her. The next one is my personal favorite skill. They are called heels. Like H double E L. I don't know if that's a Japanese thing. I don't know how that's gonna be translated in English, but they're called heel. Like the foot, your foot. I don't know why. Japan, explain. <laughs> so these ones are the heal cards for smile for your smile and pure. This will be called princess heal instead for smile and angel heal for pure cards. And this one is really cool. When stamina is full, increases the score by two fifty times. HP recovered by the healer skill when the card healer skill activated. In this case, can only be equipped on cool cards, will only have effect on healer cards. So I will show Marine Umi so I can explain it a bit better. So she heals by 5. So you go 270 times 5 and that's, your, and that's how much score you'll get. That's the score you're going to get. Um, which is really good because if you play the game for a really long time, healers do lose their purpose. You won't use them unless you're gonna play a master song or you want or there's an expert song you just can't get past without healers. But if you play the game for a long time, healers just lose their value and this skill makes them relevant again. Um, especially for healer URs, which let's face it, nobody really wants a healer UR unless you're new or you just or that card's a dream card and happens to be a healer, which in my case, Ninja Nika was a healer, yet I didn't care she was, I just wanted it. So, this skill is really good in healers. Um, probably the best, my personal favorite skill um, in the game are the heal cards Princess Heal, Angel Heal, and Empress Heal. Um, this is really good, especially those healer cards that heal by 5 or 6. This will go great because it's that's six times 270 and that's just and that is your and now be, that basically become a scorer 
So that's really great. Um, personally, the best skill in my in my fa personal favorite. Um, next, I will explain how to equip them, and for that, I'll need to go into another video because. Um, did my tablet's telling me to uh, <laughs> stop recording? Storage is getting full, so I'll be right back. All right, see you soon. Um, now we're into the how to equip them. So you can go. Um, I personally go team formation. That's the quickest way. But all these other tabs, I believe you can equip them as well from just holding onto the card and clicking onto this slot. So go team formation. And in this case, I will compare my Smile team, Aquas team, to my Pure Aquas team. Now, you can see here, every pink there's a pink dot next to each of the pictures. That means they have a skill equipped. And we'll browse through. You can see, I have nearly everyone has their, their slots full, except for Dia, which unfortunately she's since. Since he's unidolized, the only skill I can put is the um, either Smile Kiss or Smell Perfume. I don't have enough of them, so she's going to have to deal with Smile Kiss for now. So you can see it's the total power of my team for Smile is 53,413. That is with an idolized S U R, idolized SSR, um, unidolized SSR, and we have. Two. We have three idolized SRs, so not bad for me. Um, four point oh. This is just great for scouting wise. So, and my pure team. In this case, I've removed all the skill slot. The skills they have all empty slots, and um, only have one idolized SSR. Five idolized SRs. Initial yo, um, and then two rares. This is my only team that hasn't have a full team of SSRs. My cool team recently just have full SRs, but they're not leveled up yet. So, for this case, I've removed all their skills so you can see how to equip them. Um, so, we we'll go here, this pink tab here, and then you have these options. Um, in this case, you can see Marie, and uh, Paul Marie, and Initial Ruby. Yet they're idolized, yet Ruby doesn't have an extra slot. That is because I idolized her with seals, and therefore she didn't have the chance to increase her skill slot. I could, however, increase it again if I re idolize her again, and that will unlock. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any, any intentions of doing that. I would rather use my seals to idolize any of my favorite SR Nico cards. So. We'll start with um, Yoshiko. She she is first year's Aquas. So I'm gonna look in my inventory of what um, is available for me. So I kind of look up. Normally it shows you automatically the available ones, but it's always good to scroll. I don't need this one. So in this case, it's been nice to me, and it's showing what skills available I can put onto her. And in this case, it looks like it is the Pure Ring, it's saying I can equip Pure Ring on Yoshiko. I could also put the Pure Perfume on her, or I can put Pure Kiss. So I'm going to put Pure Kiss because it's 3 and shows you a number and increases it by 100. So I put that on first. Now I have to decide which I prefer more. If um, I want Pure Ring, or if I want Pure Ring, which increases Pure South by 10%. Or if I want pure perfume, which increases the simple um, cards by 450. I personally prefer pure ring. It is better simply because it's 10%. Put that on. And her total went for 5,205. And she hasn't been leveled up. If she was leveled up, that will probably be 6,000 near the 7,000 range. So you can see, um, so by skills alone, I've increased my pure team stat by 3,478, which is so good. Um, and this is without a UR, um, by the way. So next one, Chica. Um, I have many options for her. Because I have I have more skills that are probably referring to second years. So we have here the, uh, once again, Pure Ring for second years. 
We have the Pure Perfume and Pure Kiss. I personally don't want to waste my good skills on rares because they will get replaced, unfortunately, eventually. So we can just put this one on for now and that'll be great. For Idolized Mari, same thing. It's saying I can put on Pure Ring for third years and the sim and the and the pour and the pure perfume. So I put the ten percent because it is better in the long run, and we'll put a pure kiss. And look, we've nearly reached fifty thousand just from skills alone. Same thing for Ruby. I will put in this case. I will put four fifty because she is idolized. Fill those skills up. And the same thing here. I personally do love to save my skills for SSRs, idolized or above, but if you have an SR that is just really good stat-wise, use your best skills on them if you have to. So as you can see, I am running out of my good skills. Um, and put 10%. Chica, 10%. And why not? We'll, 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 put, we'll put the 10% on... Um, oh. I'll put 10% on my rare as well. Now it's gone from it's gone to 53,000. I said everyone's skills full, and as you can see, it's nearly on par with my small team, which is 53,413. And this team, which only has an idolized SSR, 53,219. So, and this is with a team with two rares as well. So. Having a team with no UIs doesn't really matter anymore. As long as you've collected a bunch of s skills, then you can then score matches won't be such a annoying event to you guys anymore. Because you'd be able to go, oh, I can get second place with this at least if I get a full combo and I get the right skills activated and everything. Um, and if the other people have a bad time, <laughs> which is um, this is great. I love this addition of skills. Um, you can sell them, I guess. You can s probably s sell spark the, the, the kisses, the smart kiss, pure kiss, cool kiss, and only needs one slot because you get so many of them. Um, but anything above that, I would keep unless you have like heaps of the smile perfume, pure perfume, or cool perfume cards. Sell them if you wish. But anything above two slots, like the smile rings, pure rings, and cool rings, I would keep them because. Um, for 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 um, a skill to increase a card stat by ten percent, only needs two slots. That's I think that's precious. That's really um precious information there. Um, um what else we could do? Um, so we could, that I think that's pretty much it. Um, I could explain the skills center in the middle, but the all right. I'll end this part of the video, do a bit of research as much as I can, really quick, and then I guess I'll talk what I think about them. So I'll be right back. So after doing some quick research, I discovered that this part here, the text, uh, is called a secondary skill. Now they're all range and there's heaps of them. Um, for um, Chica, in this case, I mean, there's your usual one, increase your teams by, small stat by this and that. In Chica's case, it's your usual one where, um, increases, secondary skill, increases the small stat of all Aqua members in your team by 3%. So if you have a Muse member in here, they won't benefit from Chica's secondary skill. Um, an SSR, um... This chica is the um, secondary skill. Secondary skill. Goodness gracious, I don't have it. Um, we'll come back to you, chica. Um, oh wait, oh I, I get it. Um, this one is um, they're like SSR is pretty much your unidolized Jiwa in this game. And for her, if you have any members from Sharon, they're sk um, they'll increase by two. 2% the smile stat 
So who's in Sharon? It's Yo and Ruby and herself. So you can get the subunit teams you want. Other members. I'm taking a quick browse here. Um, so the secondary skill also. That one I just mentioned, the one for uh, Chica. They are called Smart Princess. Your regular stuff. Then we have Smart Angel. Um, which is actually Honey or Here. The one I sh tried to show before. Um, her secondary skill is where she increases the smile stat of all first years in your team by 6%. So that will be herself, Maki, and Rin. Um, and you have Rin in my smile team, that's good enough. So, team building! Um, it's gonna take, like, you'll need to play a long time before you can really make sure you, everyone benefits from it. Um, ah, uh, yes. Um, Mermaid Nozomi here. Same thing. Increases the pure stat of all third years in your team by 6%. Um, <clears throat> I don't have that. Um, Nico, very Nico skill is actually a bit better than that one. So I will try and find that for you. Um... Ah, here it is. A secondary skill. It is really my personal favorite. Um, increases the pure stats of all BB members in your team by 6%. <coughs> um, I don't really have many pure Ellie's or Marky. Just, um, it is Nico. Um, I know I should replace Chica in there, but <laughs> um, she's a scorer. So in this med first, she's there. But um, <coughs> she's a bit cool. BB members. So you can get a bit niche. Um, gets really specific. Oh, God. Um, and I'll try one fine for cool. Um, here it is. Um, for wedding, Ellie increases his 30 stat by 6%. So you got a 30s in your team. Um, <clears throat> there are other cards which are like. The seven lucky gods Nico, which increases all cool stats of all you members, Muse members by three percent. So those are the, um pretty much nice ones. Um, you know, old generic. You don't have to have BB members third years, first years. Just everyone in Muse will get an increase by three <coughs> percent. Actually, Rico has that skill, yeah. but for Aquas, obviously, increases the cool stat of all Aqua members in your team by three percent. And um. <coughs> These skills only work if they are the leader. I should have explained that. If they're not the leader, the secondary effect just is not relevant. So, since Marine Umi is in the middle, her secondary effect will be the only one in effect, which is Lily White's. Um, Nico, Fairy Nico, will uh, be BB only. And Hanio will be first years only. Um, I am trying. So. It is makes I think makes team building a little bit more interesting. Um, better for um, players that have been playing for a long time. Because before it was just like, here's a you are, and you that's your leader and stuff. So being a leader wasn't that important, I guess, except for that they get more bond at the end of the day. Um, I believe the most you can get is that the, incre the increase by six percent is the highest. I thought there was a 12% somewhere, but that would have been a bit crazy. I mean, I won't be surprised if they go down there, because I don't think this game's any, any anytime soon. So it increases either first year members by 6%, 3%, it depends if you use Muse, first years, Aquas, Guilty Kiss, you know the drill. Um, and it's a second read throw off, which is the better card. Like, do you want the secondary skill where it increases your members smart stat by 6% for everyone or do you want that card that increases only like increased by 6% but it's only for first years you know um, and someone like me which I normally scout from either third year or baby box when I have the chance to I really don't have a really huge collection of first years or um, what's Hanukkah's unit um, Oops, I am so bad. Um, Pretomps, that's right, Pretomps. 
So I don't scat from that box mainly. I don't even scat from Lily White either. So you can tell I re I need this. I prefer cards that increase BB members or third years, or just the one that increases everyone um, skill by the thirty percent. So I think that's it. That's all I can really say. I mean, I think I hope I explained everything to the best of my ability. I'm a bit of a mess sometimes, so please forgive me for that. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but in the video, um, so thank you for watching. I hope you can listen. I will post as many images on this video as I can, so I can give a better demonstration, especially with the reward box, because um, it's really hard to find any images of them. But um, I don't know if I explained any of them, but there are different certain levels of reward boxes, and the more points you need to fill up the gorge, the better rewards are inside. And then, so that's how you get those really rare skills, so ones that need four slots or three slots and stuff. Um, other stuff you can get from reward boxes are friend points, gold, the rare sticker, just the pink one, and um, support cards such as teachers and alpacas, and I think Nico siblings as well. Um, so that's cool. Um, you don't get any. Um... Oh yes, you can also get an SSR, not SSR, SR support, but they're really rare, like really rare. I only got one from it. Um, I will check. Sorry, um. Yeah, uh. Um, so yeah, you can get. Also, I think the brown alpaca too, so you can get the SR support, but they're really rare. Um, I've been playing this game for so long since 4.0 came out, and I only got one. So that's it. Uh, that's all I'm going to show. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this helped someone. If I can help someone, I'm really happy with that. If you got any more questions, please let me know. Um, until then, I'm going to return to the Medley Fest and Tia for my precious Nico and Honoka. Um, because Honoka looks really nice and this is the first time I'm going to Tia for an event Honoka card. I know, it's shocking. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Goodbye everyone and may you have all a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye!